All right. Hello, hello. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another video. So, you guys saw the first video of the year is my birthday vlog from December. Happy New Year's, by the way. I hope you guys had a great New Year. I sure did. Today, I am at Target, and I'm not really sure where this video is going, but one thing is for certain. One thing is for certain. This year, I don't want to make too much long content i i think people's what's the word Pe people's attention span including myself is pretty short so i'm not gonna be making long videos like that anymore at least i'll try not to i don't even i don't it's not even intentional me making long videos i just like to make long videos but i'll try to keep it minimal this year so i'm at target because one of the things that I want to get into this year is couponing. I kind of started digging into it towards the end of the year. I want to say November, December-ish. But this year, listen, there's so many deals that you're missing out on if you're not getting into couponing. The thing is, nowadays, you don't even have to get into couponing yourself. You really don't even have to do the work. All you have to do is literally follow the people that do all the work and they'll, and they'll tell you exactly what to clip what coupons to clip exactly what to get so here i am today following two different ladies that i follow on tiktok and they got some money makers and one of them actually makes me money so hey if i can make money while shopping at target at that then let's go don't mind my glasses i know just know that every time i step out with these glasses i mean business okay oh if you're starting 2024 oh what is this I was gonna say if you're starting 2024 and you want to plan accordingly you can get some of these but i will say though you can get something like this at dollar tree i don't know if they'll be as nice but you can get something like this these are nice you can do notes too oh, nice. and they even have little notebooks all right you guys it is the next day unfortunately yesterday I was going to Target and I was going to get some deals get into the couponing and all that good stuff well I guess it's hard for me to come to terms that the internet is really powerful these days. Guys, when I went in there to pick up the deals of the people that I follow for the budgeting and the coupon and all that, all the stuff that I was supposed to get for the deals were gone. So, I need to come to terms that everybody knows about couponing and the deals. I mean, I knew that, but I just thought, I don't know, it's just crazy. There was nothing there. It was crazy. For example, there was a money maker to where you can make some money getting some Revlon lipsticks. And when I went to the Revlon section to find those lipsticks, it was cleared out. And I went to two different targets. So, therefore, if you want to get into couponing, cool. But you better listen to whoever is telling you to get the stuff or if you're doing it for your own you gotta go get there get, get the deals when you find out as soon as you find out because people saving money is no joke today i went to a couple places and i want to show you guys what i got i went to ulta because that was one of the gifts that i got this christmas i got a ulta gift card so i wanted to have a good day today and splurge on myself and what better way than to go to Ulta and use my gift card also i want to forget about gift cards so i figured man let me get what i want to get now because if i don't get it now i might forget about it and therefore may lose money if i don't use the gift card whatever if it expires next year whatever what i may forget i may lose it man let me just handle this now so that's what i did and this is what i picked up i got two fenty lips lip glosses i'm pretty sure are they both lip glosses hold on uh well this one is i don't know but to me i'm gonna call them lip glosses even though one of them i think is not this is fenty glow and hot cherry let me try both of them so these are both new lip ones that i'm trying out I have two other Fenty lipsticks and I love them and I'm already running low on them so Fenty is a little pricey for me but again since I have my gift card it's free so I was like let me get what I like so this is the first one that I got right here and this one is called Gloss Bomb Heat 
And I believe this one has a little sting to it because it kind of plumps your lips, I believe. Don't quote me on that, I'm pretty sure. And then this one is called Fenty Glow. Now, now Miss Riri, I really wish she would lower the prices, but I mean, gotta make some money. These are the cream ones, and this one is in the shade Lost Bomb Cream. I don't know, but this one looks cute too. Let me see. We're gonna see what interesting combo this makes, mixing these two. So, you honestly can't really even tell, but that's kind of what I like about the glosses. It's like, it's very, how can I word it? It blends in with your natural lips and it just kind of enhances your lips, which I love. But obviously, depending on which ones you get, they may do other things, but I love it. I love her packaging. I also got these Kiss Acrylic Nails. This year, I'm trying to be a little more, I don't want to say feminine because I'm already feminine, but I just want to be more put together. And I'm not saying nails means that you're put together, but in my head, I don't know when I'm making videos for you guys and I mean I don't care my nails are clean but I just think it looks a lot better whenever you have your nails done I think it's cute I'm basic I like a French tip I don't like not long nails so when I saw this one these look pretty short and then last but not least this is my favorite setting powder I swear by this one I have used several ones and honestly I'm giving them away to my mom or to family members because the other setting powders compared to this one, this one right here, this will not leave a white cast. You know when people take pictures with a flash and when you look back on the picture, it's white right here? Yeah. This one, it won't do that, okay? So, get this. This is that good. Oh! I don't want to break it before I use it. This is that good stuff, okay? I swear by this, I love this one. It is in the shade Banana. I don't know if they have other shades, but this is the one I like, and Maybelline has not done me dirty with this one. And that is all I got. And believe it or not, all of this, three, four items was $71. Huh? $71 for four items. Mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm, yep, yep, yep. But, as I always tell you guys, Make sure to check out the Ulta website because they always have coupons. Always. It never fails. So I did get some money off. And then I went to McDonald's because they have free fries Friday. So got my free fries and I ordered a French vanilla, French vanilla latte. I've never ordered that before. So it's actually pretty good. Be right back. Also, I'm aware that it's January. If you see the tree in the background, don't mind it listen y'all i paid 80 dollars for this real tree in december and if i want to leave it up in january i'm still feeling holly jolly okay 80 dollars mm -hmm. it's gonna stay up as long as i want it to stay up. and it, you know what you know what's crazy guys is i feel like the tree is now starting to smell more i can smell more of the pine on it i don't know if that's a thing if that's the science behind what happens when it's aging or whatever but i can really smell it i also wanted to show you guys what i got from five below now this looks best up because spider got into it and i wasn't quick enough so i got this <laughs> clout shelf it's really cute they have these in purple and pink and my favorite color is purple so i got these if i really really like it i may go back and get the pink one and then paint it like i did the other shelf that i have in my room another color but we shall see what i do with this i i'm thinking i do something with it in the living room but i don't know just yet and oh my goodness y'all i saw this on tiktok i have enough rugs as it is but honestly do i really do i really i mean for five dollars seriously though i mean guys it's so cute it's a little can i believe is it Last but not least, I got this dress. Now, I've seen that they have this in red. I didn't see the red one in my store, but this is still cute. Uh, I'm going to try this on, and hopefully it fits because Spider took the tag out, so I don't know if I can return it. Pretty cute, though. I like it. It's a pink and red robe. 
now that I have you here with me in 2024, I wanted to give you an update on my lily plants. I don't even know if I showed what I did with this, but basically this is my first hypotonic plant. What that means is my first plant that I have in water. I was just testing the waters. Who keeps sexing me? I was just testing the waters to see if it would survive and thrive. Now, I think the reason why it's not thriving right now is because I haven't changed the water in here. Um, from the research that I've done, you're supposed to change the water every week or two weeks. Now, I feel like every two weeks for me is going to work better than every week, but we shall see. I know it was working because it grew a new plant, so that's how I know that it'll be okay. Now, if you see it dying, don't be scared. Um, that's just kind of the risk you have to take with these plants whenever you're going from soil to water because it's a shock to the plant. So what I want to do today is I have this empty glass container. This is actually a candle from the yankee candle and i just took the wax out and all of that and cleaned it up and i want to use it as the new the new home <laughs> for the plant for the piece of lily we're gonna change the water and we're gonna add something that i like to add to make a hypotonic plant thrive so i'll show you guys that and with the water you don't want to add the water all the way to the top you just want to add it to where it covers the roots so maybe i should do less or more i don't know we'll see i'll see whenever i put it in there but i got this super thrive i know it's not focusing but it's this super thrive and it's the full h pro this is a new packaging i believe and it is very small this little small thing i can't remember exactly how much it was but it was expensive but the good thing about this is this is the plant food for my hypotonic plant and what you do is you put a little bit in here want to dilute it um i don't honestly follow it to the t as you should but i just add a little drop in there and then bam you're good to go so i'm gonna add a little drop that's it literally not not much not much i think i see some dead roots i'm going to remove any dying leaf because there's nothing you can do for them at that point when they're dying that's it. See, like, I don't know what to do with a piece of leaf that has this part run off. I don't know if I should take it off. I, I, I don't know what to do, man. Really, with plants, it's trial and error. Oh, my God. This just came off that easily. I'm very concerned, y'all. Did I make a mistake? I don't know. It just came off like that. And I would do spray some, um, what's it called? Hydrogen peroxide, I don't have any. Will it thrive? Will it die? Find out on the next episode. All right, after extensive research, tons of videos later, I cut off all the root rot, it was all that brown stuff, and the dead roots too that were attached to these. And we're gonna put them back in the water and we're just gonna pray, okay? We're gonna pray. I don't know, I might have just made the biggest mistake. It might die, might not. It's the beauty of planting. You live and you learn, so I'm nervous. So I'm just gonna put them in here. Really, I should put them in a small container, but as long as they float, yeah, they'll be fine. See, that's good. Okay, y'all can't even see that. But basically, as long as you just cover the the roots, really, I could, I could work with less. It didn't have to be that much water. It could actually go do less. And what I did was I cleaned off the the roots and all that with this. And then I cut off anything with this, uh, my plant scissors. These are not regular scissors, plant scissors. I don't know if it matters. And then I cut off all the dead ones and then the root rot. It's all right here. I've had this piece lily for about a month now. So like I said, it was doing pretty good. But I think the reason why it got root rot is because I waited too long to change the water. So that is 100% my fault. So... That's just one thing, just in plant, just whenever you do plants in general, keep a tracker of when you do things. So today I would put on my calendar, change peace lily water, and then in two weeks, or I would just set up a repeating event to where I could get this notification every two weeks to tell me to change water. Or you could do it every week. I honestly prefer to do it every two weeks, but then again, my plant got root rot, so. 
but sometimes you can do all the things right and still get root rot so don't blame yourself my piece literally lives right here it lives right here right next to my sink in the kitchen it doesn't live by the window now like i said it was thriving for a little bit then it just flopped and i believe it's because i didn't change the water whenever you get a plant do your research on what the water needs lighting needs uh environment needs everything just do, just do all the research okay don't just get a plant blindly and not do your research do your research do your homework i bought these uh room essential photo frames comes in a set of seven you get four six by eights two eight by tens and one eleven by fourteen i don't think i have all the correct pictures for all the frames but i have it for most of them so the first one that i did i did fisher and hunter these are the these are my childhood dogs that i grew up with unfortunately hunter passed away last year late last year this is the first picture that i wanted to frame so this is that one's ready this is a wall where i wanted to put the frames at so i technically can still use this one so that's what i'm going to do that's the first picture up on the wall it's cute another frame that i was able to get finally that i ordered from amazon was this big memory type frame so like i said hunter passed away and i really wanted something to remember him by so they gave us this and i want to treasure it and i want to put it somewhere special where i can always look at it when i want to think of him so i got this frame and i was finally able to print the picture to put in here to complete it and then we can hang it and that's spider in the background having her fun so i kind of messed up a little bit but it's fine it still works out i got the picture this way and this is one of my favorite pictures of me and hunter but i was supposed to get it like this instead of like this so but it's okay and this is what you get and so we're gonna hang it i have an idea where i want to put it but i'm not 100 percent sure let me show you so i'm thinking of either putting it up here right on top of the money sign or putting it right there but i don't actually i don't even know if it'll fit it barely fits but i don't know if that's i don't know i think that's a tight space so we should just put it up here yeah why does it look like a certificate <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Again, I just want to say happy 2024. Let's make every day count, not just New Year resolutions and all that, and then we forget about that next month. Let's actually make a change, make a change for your life, do things for you, okay? Now, I'm about to hop on Twitch and stream. If you guys don't know, I do play games on Twitch. If you want to go ahead and check out that platform, I would really appreciate it. That's one thing that I'm trying to work on this year is... Not just focusing on YouTube, but also showing love to all my other platforms. Plan things out more than just spontaneously making videos or streaming. I'm planning to make a new intro, so stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. And most of all, tell your tia, your abuela, tell your auntie, tell everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye!